What's up guys, welcome to another video on my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the AI thumbnail creator in Filmora 13. Okay, so within just about three or five minutes, you can create an impressive thumbnail like this in Filmora 13. And being mentioned that this is a new feature in Filmora 13, you want to use Filmora 13, go ahead to the link in the description. And if you want to purchase the software, don't forget to use my 20% discount to save your money. All right, let's go to my computer screen. All right, so this is my Filmora 13. And in order to use the thumbnail creator, you want to have something on the timeline. Okay, for example, here I have an example timeline like this. And now if I want to open the thumbnail creator, all I need to do is to click the export button. Okay, just click the export button. And you see here, this is my demo thumbnail. And if I want to delete this thumbnail, I can just click here at this X button. Okay, just delete the thumbnail. And now if you want to create your thumbnail from the beginning, you want to click here at the edit button. Okay, just click here. And now the software will select a frame in your video. Okay, so here there will be some frame in your video at this section on the left side. Or you can select it from here and scroll the playhead here to the position that you want to select. Okay, and this will be your background image. For example, I like this part, so I will select this option. But if you want to import an image on your computer, it is also possible. You need to click here from local and then you want to import the background image from your computer. Okay, by the way, I will select this frame, this frame for my video. And now we want to click here, edit. And this is the thumbnail editor. Okay, so this is the new window. And on the left side, we have some button. This is a text button. You can add text to your thumbnail. And this is the image button. You can add image to your thumbnail. But we can do it later, okay? So first up, we want to work with the background image. And here on the right side, you have the crop button. You want to select just a part of the background image. You can select the crop button. This button, okay, and then you want to just crop to the part that you want to use for your thumbnail, like this, and click this button to apply, okay, and with this button, you can reset the thumbnail, all right, so that is for the background image, and next up, you want to find a template right here, and being mentioned that we have many templates for vlog, interview, food, and music, family, how to promo. Or stuff. So all the the template here, we have the image and the text inside. By the way, when you select any template, it will only select the text and the overlay. It will not select the background image because the background is here already. For example, I can select this one, the product promo advertisement. So it is simple, right? We have a hello word here, and also we have a small text line here. So we can just click here to select it. And now we have the hello coffee and we have the product promo ad here. So I can change it first. For example, I can change this to my name, Zeki. And I can increase the size to 24, for example. And I can change the forms. By the way, I can just want to change the color of the text. All right. So this is the text here and I want to move it to this area. And for the, the Hello Coffee, I want to change it to YouTube and Thumbnail. Okay, and it is too big for me, so I would just make it a little bit smaller. Okay, so align it right here. And for this tag, I, maybe I want to have an outline. So I would select it here and add a customer area. I can scroll down here and enable the outline and change the outline to red and also i will in reduce the thickness of the outline okay i think it's okay but we can add shadow to the text also by the way i think it's clean and yeah enough for me but the next thing i want to do is to add the logo here we is going to share filmora so i want to add the logo of the software to my thumbnail and also my face right here 
so first up we want to add a logo so i will click here import image and then i want to go back to my marketing kit okay and they send me some logo and i will select this one why and then i will scale it down and move it to the corner right here okay but i think i should have a shadow for this logo so i will select it and scroll down here we have a drop shadow so i will enable the drop shadow and select projection okay and after that i can select the distance reduce the distance and increase the opacity okay so for me i think it's okay and we can go back to here and go back to the template and to see this is the product promo advertisement and next up i want to have an image of me on my thumbnail okay so we want to click here at the image again and then i want to select an image of me i have many image by the way i want to find it okay so i want to find a good image of me mm, for example i can select this one and let's click open but now we need to reboot the background right and we can select the image here and we have an option here to remove the background so we want to remove the background of my image just click here to remove the background and i think it is clean it used ai to remove the background something look like this by the way we want to have a glow around our body or, or an outline right and now we can enable the outline okay so i think it's okay unfortunately it has a microphone here by the way i think it's okay for me because i always have my microphone in my video but if you want to have a clean image, you want to take a photo and without the microphone at the background. Okay, so it is not like Photoshop where you can mask around your subject. Okay, just a simple remove background option. And now we want to increase the size a little bit and also the egg feather. We want to increase the egg feather also okay for the color of the the glow or the the outline i think i will go with white but if you want you can change it also and i want to add a drop shadow for my body also and select projection and the distance i want to increase the opacity to 100 percent and reduce the distance okay but it cover my name so i will just make it smaller and move it to here thumbnail all right so that is finished it is easy right it take about two or three minutes to create an impressive thumbnail like this and now if you want we can save it as a template for example i can save it as template and next time if i want to use the same template the same background and text or stuff like that i can go to the template and find it at the custom folder here okay so we have some template here and if i want to use the the one that i already download we have the download folder okay so this is the downloaded folder so here are some template that i already downloaded to my Filmora 13 and next up we want to click save and now we want to export the video to get this thumbnail okay i will click export okay and then we can open the folder and you see here this is the our green screen this is the audio but this is the thumbnail very nice right it has a logo here a text here a background and me in the frame all right, so that is how to use AI thumbnail generator in Filmora 13. I hope this video is helpful for you. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comment section below. And if you are new here, consider to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more video like this. And don't forget to like and comment on this video to help me grow my YouTube channel faster. 
Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.